Okay, welcome to this product uh, demonstration video where we're just going to talk you through setting up and operating an Easy Life haemoglobin meter. Uh, we're going to try and give you a few tips to try and ensure that from the time you purchase these meters you can follow a procedure to get an accurate haemoglobin reading from your fingers because we are seeing a lot of people are not following the, the procedure fully or setting up the meter correctly and either getting it in a wrong scale or using a poor lance technique to get their samples. So first of all, on this uh, part one of the demonstration, we're just going to show you the setup of the meter. This is a, a standalone haemoglobin meter. There is an option to buy a triple function meter which does haemoglobin, cholesterol and uh, glucose. But to demonstrate for haemoglobin, which we're going to concentrate on today, we're just going to use the single function HB meter. I'm just going to pop the second battery in here. Close the battery compartment for now, turn it over, and you'll see the default setting showing on there. Let me just get it so you can see that on the screen without too much in the way of reflection. You'll see the default setting is 2012 the year, uh, and let me just bring that back up. It's timed out. So, first thing to learn with these are when you first put the batteries in, you have got, I think it's uh, 15 seconds before the uh, meter defaults to what's being set. If that happens or you run over at any time, just remove the battery circuit, pop it back in, and you're back to square one. So quickly now to demonstrate what we're going to do. The M button rotates between the different functions, the S button sets them, and it only goes one way up. So 2013, 14, 15, 16, 2017, move to the next function using the M button, and it's 509. Now these are the dates, okay? So we are looking at increasing that to, the month is the first function, 11, and we're making this demo on the 29th of November, move to the next function and you're setting the time. So this is a 24 hour clock, 6 a.m. goes through to p.m. so we're now working at 10 15. Press the M button and your functions there. Okay, now if you just leave that, it's rotated back to 2017. If you were to press any of those buttons again, it would rotate round. But you just need to leave this now, and after 15 seconds of inactivity, it should set. If you make a mistake at any one time, you can remove the battery, and it will cycle back to that 2012, and just rotate through until you get it correct. Once it's in there, it should retain its functions for time and date when you come to put test strips in. And if I now apply the code chip, which is supplied with the test strips, this goes in the port on the top of the machine. So the code chip is fitted in place. You'll see on the reverse four digit number. That must at all times correspond with the code on the test strips. The code chip is packed inside the test strips. And now one final check that we're gonna make on this meter is by inserting a test strip into the top port. The code chip number is displayed. It's now asking for a sample of blood. Okay. And you've got the correct time and date there. There is one additional setup function that you need to check before you run your first test, and that is the display settings. These meter have the ability to display the haemoglobin reading in a millimoles per litre or grams per deciliter. And all the UK reference is made with regard to grams per deciliter. Now the setting for that is dependent on this tiny little switch inside the battery compartment. I don't know whether that's going to show or not, but down in the base of there, there is a little switch that goes this way or that way. Now it needs to be in a display that is showing grams per deciliter. Now, if it isn't, you can switch it back and the memory functions and the recorded memories will be converted from millimoles per litre to grams per deciliter. But the millimole reading is correspondingly lower than the grams per deciliter, uh, an equivalent. I haven't got a conversion table in front of me, but it might be sort of 7.6 in millimoles per litre 
and 13 or 14 equivalent in grams per deciliter. So you just need to check that when you do your first test that the display that it's giving you is in grams per deciliter, the UK reference levels. Okay, so that is now ready to go for the first test. I'm just going to remove that to power it down at the moment. It automatically powers up each time you pop a test strip into it and will power down automatically. So that is the setup completed on the Easy Life haemoglobin meter. And the next thing we're going to show you is a procedure for running a test.